game here for. We are going to go on to Friday's lessons now, so near the end of the week, and then you can have a little break over the weekend. I hope you're all doing well, and here's what we're doing. So for maths, we're carrying on with some work on translation. So again, there's a lesson to watch if you want to. You don't need to watch that lesson. That's your choice. It's there as a pointer if you want to. Um, it's basically looking at following instructions of translation and finding the new point on the grid, so the new coordinates. There's a worksheet to go with that, which links into the home learning grid, which you can use, or if you're doing it from the packs, it'll be in your pack at home. And then onto English, so in English you're going to be using your poems from Thursday's lesson, so your haiku poems, so you have three and you can look at maybe all three of them and how you could edit and improve those poems. So have a little look at the adjectives you use. Can you think of better adjectives to use? You can use a purple pen if you've got one to underline your first draft or if not, any colour will, any colour will do. Um, so then you're going to redraft those poems thinking about any changes you want to make. Make sure you double check you've got the syllabic pattern right. So that's the 575 pattern. Um, so check that over, see if there's any language features which you can improve and then rewrite those up and you can decorate those if you want to as well, maybe with a border or some images to go with that. Then in the afternoon we're moving on to art. Um, there's more detail of the art in the home learning grid if you have a read through. So it's looking at printing, so it's using material to print onto things. So, um, you're picking a scene from the book, The Whale, which is also, if you go through your homework that's been set on the website when you log in, you'll find a few a couple of weeks ago we added in a PowerPoint of the book, didn't we? So if you want to have another look through that, pick a scene from the book and you're creating an image through printing. As I say, there is more detail on the home learning grid on how to do that. But if you haven't got paints, don't worry, you can maybe just do a design of that scene from the book of how you would do it if you're using prints and paints if you haven't got access to paint at home. Um, I hope you all have a great week.